It'll be fun. All right, all right, all right, everybody. Welcome to the About That Wallet podcast, where we help you build strong financial habits, where this particular episode is where I am going to be utilizing AI to create a self-published ebook that you can actually sell on eBay. Next thing you know, eBay, we're going to do Amazon. And yes, hopefully you guys like the touch of my eyeglasses, you know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. Let's get this intro going. In a world where financial advice is as blurry as a wild night of cheap jello shots, clear your head and your monetary halitosis with the About That Wallet Show, hosted by Anthony Weaver. Leave those jello shots for the amateurs and learn to indulge in the top shelf bottles, baby. Now, here's your host, Anthony Weaver. Hey, so welcome to another exciting show of the About That Wallet podcast, where we help you to become strong in your financial habits. Because one of the reasons why we want to help you be well off in your financial habits is so that you can go head on and get some sleep, but also make some money while you sleep. But not just while you sleep, but also while you're working at 9-5. Because we got to get those habits up. You know what I'm saying? You're tired of working. Some of us are tired right now. I'm tired of hearing that inflation is high. I'm tired of hearing that people cannot make ends meet. There's I'm tired of hearing it where there are couples out there just saying, oh, you know, my six figure income just no longer cutting it for us. Oh, no. It's like one of those very bad infomercials when it was like, uh, when they try to pour something in water, I know it's a shot glass, but whatever. And they were like, oh, no. Like, really? Come on. Just just pour it lightly in the shot glass and get it over with. It's that easy. But what's going on, Nia? Thank you for coming through. Um, so here on the Instagram, like I said, I'm not doing the stream yard to Instagram because I figured let's stream yard is having some issues with Instagram. They even post on their little banner. But, you know, I got to do it in case you missed it. One of the things I haven't done lately is done in case you missed it. So I had the awesome opportunity to interview, um, was it Danielle Desir, uh, where we actually talked about um, pretty much traveling and finances. And she has one of the top podcasts out there when it comes to actually traveling. She actually started a podcast called uh, Woman of Color Podcast, which I thought was an amazing concept, an amazing idea, which spun up from a conference just talking about women in finance. And one of the things from that story is that when you're listening to other people's stories, you'd be surprised on how impactful it is, even if it's just a one-liner it could just be one thing. And that's what I want you to take from this is that the confidence that you have within yourself can actually be a detriment to your learning, a detriment to your lifestyle and actually growing yourself. And that's one of the reasons why I started doing this show and trying to learn from other people is that when it comes to building your wealth, building your health, you need to get out of the way, get out of yourself so that you not get out of yourself, but actually take away and start looking at what it is that is causing your pain so that we can go ahead on and make that a little better. So because of the whole um, finance realm that we live in, we need to start looking at how can we start making some more income. So this is what um, uh, we're talking about. Like I said, I'm going to do it in case you missed it. Let me go ahead on and play this clip from Desiree. I mean, I keep wanting to call him Desiree. I know she's going to kill me if she actually watched this episode. <laughs> Her name is Danielle Desir. I'm going to go ahead on and rotate my camera so you all can watch. And then I'm going to change the audio so that you all can see this because we are live right now and i was actually playing around because i know y'all seeing behind the scenes right now for those of you who are on instagram 
but I want you all to see the in case you missed it uh, because it's, I think it's cool. Uh, let me change my audio, make sure that's available. Again, make sure that's coming out the speakers so y'all can hear. And let's see what we got. I'm going to mute myself on this side, on the mic side. The behind the scenes psychology of that is treating travel like a bill. So a lot of times people will think of travel as like a luxury item or something that's nice to have at the end of the year. Now you start to have like routines and now you get to say, okay, I'm incorporating this habit of saving is because when you do see a deal that comes up, a flight deal, a travel deal, you can just go up and actually buy it because you have the money saved there. So that's a quick, um, you know, snippet of the episode that you might have missed. And I highly recommend to check that out because it's one of the things that we have been going on now because it is uh, Thursday. Uh, let's see what's actually in the news. The reason why I like these news because it's actually funny. So let's check out. Let's check out Fox Business. They always have some cool, interesting stories there. Foxbusiness.com. Let's see. Oh, oh. As of today, let's see. <laughs> As of today, they saying layoffs. Y'all reading this? Y'all see this? They say in layoffs surge to 136,000%. Let's go ahead on and listen into what they have to say. Because I think this is going to be interesting. All right. Um, Let's see. I can play. Welcome back. The Federal Reserve leaving interest rates unchanged yesterday for the fourth consecutive meeting, signaling that the central bank is done raising interest rates and will likely cut later on in the year. The Federal Reserve Chairman, however, Jay Powell, made it clear it is not ready to start cutting rates and a March rate is not likely. Watch this. We believe that our policy rate is likely at its peak for this tightening cycle and that if the economy evolves broadly as expected, it will likely be appropriate to begin dialing back policy restraint at some point this year. But the economy has surprised forecasters in many ways since the pandemic and ongoing progress toward our 2% inflation objective is not assured. Joining me now, the former president of the World Bank and former Treasury Undersecretary David Malpaz. David, good to see you. Thanks so much for being here. Your reaction to the Fed move yesterday saying March is off the table for a rate cut, but perhaps later on in the year if we have confidence that inflation is around 2%. Hi, Maria. Uh, Well, this is really important because the Feds had so many tools. They were mostly focused on the interest rate tool. I'd like to see lower interest rates. You know, the short-term interest rate that they set, 5.4% now that they're paying to banks, uh, pulls money from the small cap sector, from small businesses. Uh, So I think there is an opportunity for the Fed to be looking at rate cuts, but then also adjusting its uh, its, its balance sheet. The, you know, the Fed is a giant owner of bonds, uh, and it, it uses short-term rates to fund long-term bonds. And that biases the system toward uh, the government and toward big, big corporations. Yeah. So I think there's an opportunity to have more growth from the Fed also on regulatory policy. They're doing the Basel III endgame, uh, which really hurts uh, the, the, the funding that goes through CNI loans. I've got data on that if you want. CNI yeah. loans are problematic. Yeah, I mean, that's, there's a reason Jamie Dimon said that uh, J.P. Morgan is going to be forced to carry 30% more capital than his first uh, competitor overseas. Uh, I yeah. mean, he's handling, you know, the big major banks differently than smaller ones and differently than international ones. So you're spot on on that in terms of regulation. It, but I want to get your it, take on the on the macro story for a second before we go deeper into the regulatory story, because right now we are expecting growth in the U.S. Uh, Europe is uh, a lot weaker than the United States, and some people expect the ECB to start cutting rates even before the Fed. The World Bank said that the global economy is on course to record its worst half decade of growth in 30 years. It's also forecasting global growth to slow this year with the, uh, for the third year in a row to 2.4%. David, what's your sense of the globe? 
Yeah, it's uh, dangerously weak, and so that that's showing up in the way the uh, the, the adjustments are being done to these forecasts. The U.S. is resilient, uh, you know, and a big chunk of that is because the government is spending so much money. It props up consumption, but it leaves investment weak. That's a notable part of the U.S. economy. And then when you look at, uh, when you look abroad, it's downgrades across the board. Uh, so yes, China and India are doing okay. That was picked up in the I. IMF forecast. They do a, a purchasing power parity forecast uh, that uh, that gives double weight to China and uh, uh, almost triple weight, more than triple weight to India. So as those economies do okay, that pulls up the total. But the reality under the surface uh, is that it's a really grim outlook in 2024 and the same weakness in 2025. Wow. Uh, investment just isn't, uh, you know, the CNI loans are, are, are troubling. They should have grown grown uh, hugely in 2023. This is the loans that banks make to smaller businesses, floating rate loans. But the government is doing so much borrowing at the short end, and the Fed is doing it itself with bank reserves. They're the ones paying this high interest rate for exactly the money that's needed by small businesses. So I would like to see them lighten up on the short end, stop borrowing at the short end, uh, and let small businesses get some oxygen into the system. So what do you want to say about CNI loans, given the Basel III proposals? Yeah, that, 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 that's aimed straight at reducing those further. But, you know, they should have gone up by $170 billion in 2023 just to keep up with inflation and growth. Instead, they went down by $35 mm -hmm. billion at the end of the year. I know these are, but this is the lifeblood of small businesses. They need working capital. Of they course. need equipment. Uh, and and uh, Basel III, or the, the whole international regulatory system, this is global government aimed at hurting small businesses. Wow. And I think we need a real rethinking of the whole policy mix. The Fed has a big <laughs> opportunity to help on this right now. Okay. Well, that's, that's a great point. I want to get your take real quick on what's going on at the Senate. A bipartisan group of lawmakers in the Senate working out these details of a border deal that would include aid for Ukraine, Israel, and Taiwan. President Biden uh, claims he's embracing the deal. But House Speaker Mike Johnson said this bill has no way forward in the House. It is dead on arrival because it allows 5,000 illegals into the country before anything can be done about it. I spoke with the House Homeland Security Committee uh, chairman earlier, and the Homeland Security Committee advanced two articles of impeachment against Department of Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas yesterday. They're accusing him of refusing to comply with the law, immigration law, and the breach of public trust. A vote is expected in the next week at the earliest. David, what's your sense of this Senate deal? I, no, I haven't seen the bill. I'm not sure Nobody how many has. people have seen, have seen the bill. Uh, it, here's what strikes me. Uh, the, the U.S. leadership is really important in the world, uh, and it's not there. And so you're seeing this problem. The problems grow one after another. Russia is cheering when they see these problems in the U.S., whether it's uh, the, the confusion over what to do on Iran, whether it's uh, uh, the, the weakness uh, the U.S. is showing on Ukraine. So I think it's really urgent to have clear message uh, from the administration, really, of what it wants done. It's not so much a Republican problem. It's got to be a commander in chief uh, deciding the direction of the country on these all critical issues. Yeah, unfortunately, he keeps misleading us. The other day, he said that, yeah, of course, the border's not secure. I've known it for 10 <sighs> years. Really? David Malpass, good to see you, sir. Thank you. All right. So... That's a very interesting take. So, oh, yeah, don't be talking about my sandwich. All right, it was uh, it's delightful. Um, because you know, what I'm saying I had to I had to get something to eat because I had a long day, long day, long day. All right, let's do one last quick tip and then come right back. Oh man, I ain't put no music for this. I need to put some music. <laughs> so the quick tip for the day is to make sure that you are not giving up on yourself. And what I mean by that, which means that if you are actually having a moment in your life where you feel as though you're down and out and you have no other choices, take a deep breath, go ahead on and get something to eat like I did while I was watching this uh 
with newscasts and just think there and sit there for a moment. I just want you to have a moment to yourself. You know, you might just be hungry. You know, take time to step back, reset, and, and get things together. Thank you for calling for pointing me out on my sandwich, but it was well worth it. Okay. All right. I know y'all here did not y'all are here to actually see me help you make some money online. In a way, how are we gonna do that? About that sandwich. You know what, Carla? I actually do like that. You know what I'm saying? I wish I could play that playback, but I was enjoying the sandwich. It was so good. It was like mm, mm, delicious. So y'all want to see me how I created something from my mind and put it on the habit journal. Okay. And I created something called the habit journal mostly because, you know, hey, we bought that wallet, helping people like you and myself to build strong financial habits. But the reason why I did habit journal was mostly because I want to talk about the everyday habits. Once you understand your everyday habits, then you start looking at your ripple effect. The ripple effect of your habits have so many different ties into it. You're not just looking at how it started, but also what are the uh, ramifications of doing everything else. So think about it when, if you want to be more productive at work, you notice that, hmm, take three scenarios. You first, A, wake up early, then you get something to eat. Or in my case, I didn't get anything to eat, so I ate a sandwich tonight, but it is what it is. Um, then you go to work early, you go ahead on and uh, show up to work and you're happy, right? Second scenario, you hit your snooze alarm, you're dragging your feet, then you want to take a shower, then you want to, like, you know what, I'm going to clip my toes today, then you stroll in to work a little late. And then you're like, I don't want to be here. And then the third option is that you keep hitting that snooze alarm button and don't even show up to work. And then now you're like, well, how does that tie into money? Well, the first scenario, because you hit the first snooze alarm button, you got up, you showed up to work, you got there on time, and now you're actually making this money. Everything looks good. Everything is happy. Everybody's happy. The household's happy and so forth. Second option, you show up a little late, you stumble in uh, to get the work. Um, you, get, you hit the snooze alarm button twice, maybe. And then you're like, okay, well, why am I, why is my check short? Or you got to stay late for work to make up the hours or minutes that you missed. Because of that, now you're missing out on your sleep again. And then it repeats that cycle. Third option, which is that you're not even showing up to work because you're tired of work, tired of your boss, tired of everybody. You're just tired. And you want to call it a mental health day. When in reality, you just don't feel like going to work. Which then because then becomes if you did not make that phone call to your supervisor or to the management or to your establishment to say, like, hey, I'm not coming in. Then it'd be like, all right, you're no call, no show. It impacts business. You're not showing up. This is your business now. And this actually comes into your character. Now, because you got those three scenarios, you're looking at those three scenarios on how it actually can take you to that next level. And when it comes to taking you to that next level, I want you to think outside of where you are today. How can you take from where you are to move on to that next level? And the way how you can do that is by putting in systems in your life that can actually help propel you to where you want to go. Now, for the reason for this particular live and the reason why I'm doing this show is to help you find something that you can do while you're sleeping and make some money or while you're working your nine to five. Sorry, this thing is a little scratchy. It's a little scratch, scratch. Hopefully y'all like my green fire flames. You know what I'm saying? I put some work into making those flames in the background. So let me see if I can log into my account. Um, Cause again, if you wanna show up on time, show up on time, this is my fault. I should have been following my own ripple effect, which is if I would've logged in on time, got here on time, got to work on time, 
I could have went on and been able to um, have all my resources ready for this live. Instead, I'm stumbling over my stuff. But in the meantime, we in here. Yes, Carla, we flaming. You know what I'm saying? We green flaming over here. That's what we do. D-E-W. Sorry. So I'm going to get my Canva.com. For those of you who don't have Canva, just go on and get your Canva. It's free. Sign up. I am going to put my... Um, I'm going to put my, what's it call it? Let me share this tab. My referral link inside the chat. So y'all can go on and get one. If you don't have one, let's see. Refer friends. All right. For that, got that. Post here. Boom. All right. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We don't want to talk about that. Talked about that. Oh, no way. All right, share this tab. View StreamYard. Okay, and because I want to make sure y'all see this, move Carla out the way. And I'm going to just move myself out the way completely because I want you guys to get this information. All right, so you in Canva. For those of you who are watching, go ahead on and go to Canva. I Like I said, I put my link inside the chat inside um stream yard so if y'all on youtube go on and get a copy but on the sign up for stream yard so i'm gonna show you exactly what i did like i said i created my book this is the what you call it <laughs> the cover and for those of you who haven't seen my book yet let's go back to amazon.com I'm going to share this tab. We go to Amazon.com, look up Habit Journal, Anthony Weaver. Boom. All right. So I'm telling y'all how I did it. Okay. This is my book that is out there right now. And I was closing out the year with it because I was like, you know what? I need to, the year isn't over with until I say it's over with or until the clock strikes zero, zero 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 for the next day so this is a book i created so that's the um cover you can just look up anthony weaver habit journal to get your copy all right so this is what i use i went to canva it's like find me like i did a lion i had two images actually you guys so i had one image with the green and then I did one in white. The reason why I did the white only because it was like I needed to be, you know, a little beefy, look a little cooler um, in that way. So what we're going to do so we can go back home. Share this tab. Just want to make sure you guys can see. And we just want to say book cover. Now, some of you would be like, well, Anthony, before we even do the book cover, shouldn't we know what the book is? And you know what? I'll probably say, yeah, but we can dream, all right? You have some feelings. Like, you know, most of us think this way. Book cover tells everything. Um, let's see what they got. Love, Our Last Summer, Sky Lovers. They have some pretty cool uh, covers on here. Love and friends. I'm not sure which one to do. Let's pick. Uh, everything is like romantic book. Oh, no wonder the big romance book cover. Say money book cover. Yeah. So there we go. All right. So they say where to invest your money. Eh, it's a paid one. Money hacks. So these are like some cool title covers that looks, you know, eye catchy, something cool, something mysterious, and actually look a little fun. And I will say, let's see, make this fun. All right. I don't want to waste too much time on these. Just picking a cover. You know, we're going to do this one. 
customize the template. We're just going to call this the money garden. And obviously, let me zoom in for you guys so y'all can see it. Oh, come on. And a cool thing about this is that you can do control Z and all that fun stuff like that. And say Anthony Weaver, fine. All right. So now we got the cover. Now we can start doing some pages. We're going to throw some text in here. Background, obviously white. We're going to throw some text. And I'm going to show you exactly. I'm going to go. Oh, you know what? I'm not even sharing the tab. I'm so bad. So we're going to use this, call this the money garden. Okay. We're going to leave this page blank because we want to. Second one, we're going to put some text in here. And I'm going to see if I can do paragraph text. Paragraph, paragraph. I can spell. I cannot spell. All right. Well, whatever. All right. So AI has already changed the publishing game. Yes. Um, sorry. I know you wrote, wrote yours by hand, but <laughs> we are. So just though the cover page is nice. Um, right here, we're just going to do just that. So I'm going to go ahead on over and cheat. Not cheat. It's called being resourceful. We're going to use chat GPT because, you know, we like ourselves a little bit of chat GPT. I'll put some background music for the folks who are listening on um, online on IG because I want to make sure that you guys, you know, my voice does get kind of boring and I might get a little quiet, but I just want to make sure y'all hear a little something in here. See if we... Yeah, I'm gonna bring that down to like a twelve. All right, all right. So we in some chat GPT. Um, still sharing it. Okay. Oh, the. All right. So we're gonna log in. For those of you who watching, yeah, I think you guys. Can, so you can't can't see my password anyway. It's fine. I chat GPT a lot of stuff. So what we're gonna do? Because I already did a lot of transcript stuff, and I already shared my story, right? And a lot of people have shared their stories. I actually signed up for, for those of you who run podcasts and already do shows already, you can actually go to, I use Cap Show. Um, I'm gonna share this tab. So I'm gonna sign in here, blah, blah, blah. So when I sign in the Cap Show, come on. All right, so I already did a couple episodes, right? And I can actually tell my story. And I did a lot of it on different things. So we share financial tips and everything like that. Who was this with? Um, I can't remember. But what I have here is a transcript. And the beauty of having a transcript about your show is that I can go ahead on and take this transcript and say, hey, create me a story based around this. And this is the reason the beautiful thing about AI. So I know that some people are against AI writing things, but if you have your own story, you can go ahead on and talk about it. So it will create a story based on who you with. All right, so I don't have my, huh, what episode was this? I don't even remember who episode was this. Huh. Why don't I have their episode? Uh, because it could have just been me running my mouth, so uh let's see. Who had a good episode? Let's go with this one. And we're gonna do the transcript and the labels. Uh speaker one, it's me. Speaker two is Christina. Okay. So, because I have this transcript, obviously I was saying all this fun stuff. 
um transcript by speaker there we go all right speaker a all right so i put this little story because this is me talking i agree with showing and learning and explaining and everything like that right you go tell your kids and issues stuff like that all right and so what i can do because i am speaker a just making sure Oh, you know what? Because I did a snippet, it needs to change. Because based on this, oh, it's not working. Okay. Speaker A is her, and then speaker B is me. Because the way how this is happening when I actually edit the episode, that's what happened. So this is what she was saying. Okay. All right. Let me find the part where it's just me saying the cool stuff. And then, you know what? I ain't going to worry about it. How about this? We actually got some text uh, and everything like that. So I have Christina, right? Christina's story. I can just say copy. Go over to chat GPT, share this instead, and I'm going to say, um, create me a story um, around me and create me a, a chapter, a money chapter based on the story. And then I can put this, put that in parentheses, paste in the story that's directly from the transcript, and let's see what happens. Um, create me, a, create me a money chapter based on the story. And I gotta remove Christina's stuff, even though it's from her. But I'm using this as an example, okay? Plus, she's on my podcast. It's all right. Um, and make it fun and entertaining cool so it's called calling it chapter six once upon a time and it's making a full story book right i'm not sure why i did chapter six but well i just wrote a chapter so i mean cool and it gives you more of the story all right, so I'm gonna copy that. Take that on over here to our good old thing. And we're gonna change this font to, let's go with a standard 10, I believe. Let's zoom in some more so everybody can see it. And then we're gonna do it that way. Okay. So chapter six is already aligned. I'm gonna zoom out here to see how many pages did it create. It did not create more pages. So what I am going to do, <clears throat> I have to figure out how to cut and I'm at the cut and paste <laughs> most of this because then I can actually take it and make uh, images. Oh my gosh, it did not fit everything on this page. <sighs> Great. I'm going to have to piece it, piecemeal it to make it fit. Oh my gosh. All right. Huh. Unless somebody got some good eyes, this is going to be really tiny for a book. But the cool thing about it, it's whatever I want. So I can do one of these. And it's a nice little short story. Okay, and then I can just chop that up, keep that one page, take this, add a page, add a page, add a page. Now, the cool thing I like about ChatGPT, I can go ahead on and go to the grid view. <clears throat> when you go to the grid view, you can actually highlight, click on one, hold down the shift key, and highlight multiple. So right now I highlighted three. For those of you who are watching on... Uh, Instagram, I know it's kind of hard. I'm actually moving the camera around a lot. 
It's just that because I have a widescreen so that I can share with everybody. All right, let me see if that works. Okay, so there you guys can see it. So I highlighted these three. And what I can do is when I click add here, oh no, it didn't do it. All right, do this again, copy all of these. And then I go up here to this uh, duplicate four pages. So I'm duplicated to four more pages, right? Now that I got my story right here, shrink this bad boy up a little bit, <clears throat> bring this out, make this nice and sexy, X that out, and let's see, add some text, move that out the way, call it a header. It looks crappy right now, but it's cool though. The cool thing about it, of having it this way, is that so I can change the font size. <laughs> it doesn't even have to be a chapter book. It could be whatever you want it to be. Um, so we have this, all right? We got our first page, we got our first chapter up. And then obviously we can just take this. I'm gonna copy and paste it down here mostly because I want to keep the uh, the size of it. And then I can just go in here and chat GPT. Go ahead on and start, let's see, but fear not. Uh, our journey begins with a lot of consequences. So we're looking at consequences. Then we take the next two. Nice and easy. I'm not sure. I actually might make this a book. I mean, keep playing around with me. I don't know. Put this up on Amazon. How about that? But the cool thing about it. All right. So we got this. Got the savings. All right. So you do all this fun stuff. You keep going. For the sake of time. I already did all this fun stuff because I already got the book out there. Uh, share this tab. So obviously I'd call it the green, the money garden, call it money, mischief, and magic, uh, just kind of run through. And obviously I put all that fun stuff directly from chat GBT. So I can make a quick storybook. Now that we've already did this, we can show that chat GPT can go ahead on and create our own stories based on our own text. So if you already have text, you've written things out and you like, you know what, these are my own words. I just need somebody to come in and expound on it and show me a little bit more. Just come to chat GPT and go down and paste in your story and just say, hey, can you create me a short story? Maybe a five minute read based on this text and that it, it can be done. Now, the reasons why you want to do this so that you can go ahead on and head over to Amazon, for those of you who are just joining, this is my habit book. I'm showing you exactly what I did. Um, hey, we can always chat. Let me know, Wallet Coach. Um, so now that you've already created the, like I said, uh, two different things. So we already using this as an example. <clears throat> Excuse me. The reason why we want to do this vertical one is nice and easy. There's two different ways you can do this. I'm showing, I'm showing you the vertical one. So if you just got the chapter cover or whatever, you can copy this whole thing and turn it to a whole nother, nother thing. But now, so we're trying to use Amazon, right? We really want to get our book on Amazon. What we do is go to, let me share, share this tab instead. We go to KDP, Amazon. And you go to self-publishing. So KDP stands for Kindle Direct Publishing. Go ahead and click on self-publishing. Now, we were talking about the about and everything like that. That we, now that we have this page already set up, let me see what the comments have on here. How's it going? Great stream, bro. Our content is similar. Definitely dropping a follow. Thank you, Zigzag. The bag. All right. So we come down here, we're looking at all this, talking about join KDP and all this fun stuff, right? KDB direct publishing. 
Um, so they show right here on how things work. This is the reason why you want to learn this. So when it comes to using Kindle Direct, I'm showing you one way, which is Amazon. Um, there are so many other ways to actually do a self-publish. You can get paid by each page that's read by Kindle Unlimited. So if I were to put this page out there and it's only like a 10 pager, every time somebody swipes the page, I get paid. So you need to make your stories convincing and compelling and something that somebody can follow, make it nice and easy. You want people turning the page. So when people say, hey, was that a page turner? You got to tell them yes, because it caused you to do that. You can earn up to 70% on eBooks, which means that Amazon is going to take about 35%. Remember, we're doing this content right here, right now. And that's it. Printed books, you earn up to 60%, right? Even though they say you earn up to six, I think I am only making 60% of the books that I sell, maybe 30%. It depends. Um, and now they got the Kindle Vila, which is you get 50% on what readers spend on tokens used to unlock your stories episodes. You're also eligible for bonus base on customer activity and engagement. So this is interesting. I'm not too familiar with Kindle Villa because I haven't put out a book that's more likely a page turner, but I will be looking into that option sooner. So this is the reason why I'm showing you guys because I had to do this again. Now, when you're trying to select your book, they usually tell you which one are you using? They telling you how to prepare your manuscript. Preparing your manuscript is nice and fun. And the reason why I say that it's nice and fun, but what you really want here is called use the free cover creator tool. The free cover creator tool is what you're looking for. So if you just go to Google and you forgot everything that I talked about, go just type in cover creator tool for KDP. In here, they have the cover creator tool. So they're telling you exactly what they want so you can get accepted, which is JPEG, PNG, and TIFF. Don't ask me what TIFF is. It is what it is. That's what they got. So they're talking about create a ebook cover. You can just click on it. They tell you the dimensions. Okay. They tell you the dot sizes, the ratio, everything like that. This is great information. However, it all depends on the size of your book. So we're going back to the cover creator thing because I think it's great. And what you can do here, they're showing you how to create the cover and all that fun stuff. Go to bookshelf title. All right, get images. They so telling you how to get your images. Uh, I think this is, is this the one I think I'm trying to find the one where they usually tell you like how to download the. All right, that ain't the one because I want to give you the right stuff that you need. Because it will give you like the template, though. Yeah, this is. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So they do have a little tool where you can actually create it and stuff like that. All right, there we go. That's what I wanted. All right. So if you go back all the way at the top. So if you hit the cover creator tool, <laughs> don't kill me guys. I'm, I'm trying to remember everything. So I'll get this right for you guys. So, cause I gotta do this again. So you go to cover creator tool, scroll all the way down to the bottom. There's a thing called, you can use your own, you can use our templates. That's what you want. Click this link, bring it on over. <clears throat> so, uh, okay, so we're making sure I'm just making sure y'all following with me. All right, so you're entering your book type binding. I always do the paperback, so most of them are a little cheaper that way. Interior, we just doing black and white. If you want color, you can. Um, that's up to you. Paper type, I just use the white paper. I, I think I only got white paper in my book. Yeah, I only got white paper. All right, turn direction. Usually it's from left to right. If you want to go right to left to be fancy, you can. Measurements, we're going to do inches. 
because you know she liked those inches. Interior trim. Here is really depends on this really matters. This depends on the size of your book, your pages, and also what your cover needs to be. Because what you put here, as far as the book size, this determines on what uh, your book cover is going to look like and how to edit it. So for the book that I created, I did a seven by 10, a seven by 10 inch, uh, trim is really good. It's kind of standard because I was doing a journal. Now, let me show you, I'm going to go to a share this tab instead. So what I'm going to do here is go to amazon.com and look up just journals because what I did is the journal. I created a journal and I was looking at what are the, the top sellers. I think you can sort by, let me zoom in here. If you sort by uh, best sellers, scroll on over and they show you the results. What sizes are they using as a bestseller? They're using five, seven, eighth inch, right? What's, what's this one? They don't even tell you the size. That's horrible. They should tell you the size up front. This one, no pun intended, ladies, if y'all listening. Um, Amazon Basics is doing a 10 by 7. You know what I'm saying? So they doing a 10 by 10 by 5, I mean 10 by 8. So you're looking at average sizes around here. And what would best suit your needs? Now, say if you just don't, because the reason why I say let's do a journal, it'll be a nice and easy, something simple that you can do right now. And they saying like two packs. I'm like, who got a two pack? Um, and Amazon didn't have the spiral option. So we can't do the spiral option with the little, little tab thingy here. Uh, there might be other light drop shipping companies that allow you to do that. But for Amazon, you kind of getting like you know, the basics. So, but if you look at the sizes, you're looking at around the five to seven inch. I think that's a fair size. Now the other thing is that you're looking at what is the how many pages, right? They doing 160 pages, and it's a dotted journal, right? So if you're saying that 17,998 ratings for a book that costs 9.95, right? What did they have in there? Nothing. It's just a dotted pages. Look at this. Just dotted pages, right? Because it comes with a little fancy stickers or whatever. You can you can do whatever. Let's look what they got. Look at this. Look at this. Nothing. It's just dots. They make it look colorful. Okay. We can do dots. Who wanna do a dot journal? Raise your hand in the comments. Raise your hand somewhere. Somebody say something. We want dots. Because that's what we're gonna get. All right. So let's go back to where is it? This one. Oh, uh, let's see. Share this tab. So here, instead of our story, we don't have to do the story. I'm going to just delete this. And then we can actually just put dots across if we want to. You can put the dots in there, keep it a blank journal and make it the size that you want. So we're going to go with the five and eighths, which is the smallest and the page count. We noticed that they said that their page count was 160 pages, right? So let's calculate the dimensions. I'm going to zoom out here. So they're telling you what the margins are, what the spine is going to look like and everything. Now, the cool thing about this is that we can sit here and cheat. We can sit here and go ahead on and make the whole thing black. Keep this here. And now that we can put like a logo or something like that and call it a day. Because if Amazon over here is making, you know what I'm saying? He's this person is doing 19. What? Oh, obviously, they make a lot of products. OK. Well, well. We can't really compete with them. However, we can still put something out there. Even if you get like 10 reviews, 
But if you think about how many times people leave a review versus how many people actually purchase, it's a lot more. Okay. So just take this up to like maybe three times it on how many people actually purchase this journal and just a thousand people purchased just last month. Like who could not use an extra, you know, $5,000 in a month just for a journal, a dotted journal at that. Like you're not, how could you go wrong? So this is one of the ways that I use. Went on and got that, got my story. I got this. Download the template. We can take the template over. So for those of you who missed it, I downloaded the template. Uh, now I want to take this template, go over to Canva. And what we're going to do is let's see front and back cover for book. Or if they can't come up with something, what we can do here is go up to the top and click create design. So when we create the design, no, 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 no. I think we go here. Whoops. Nope. I want that. Um, where is it? We create a design, go to ebook cover. This is not what I want because you're supposed to be able to size it up before you can actually get to it. Uh, come on. Somebody can remember, I forgot where I went to, to actually create a special, like you should be able to, oh, let me go home to the front. There we go. So in the very front, I think I do. I think I did. Yeah, there we go. So those of you who are watching, so you want to click on what is called custom size. So it says custom size. And then they tell us what the widths are, which if we go back here, they say the width of this whole thing, because you want cover to cover is 10 point 10.61. So you go back to Canva and type in 10.61. Uh, dimension must be 40x. Oh, duh. Inches. We go 10.61. And then we go back here to. And then the height is 8.25. So we can just copy this and throw that back there. Paste. So now we got our custom design, custom size. Create that. Now this is going to be the front and back. So which means that we have to, we can do this. Uh, I think since I did download it. Let me open this up. Oh my gosh. Okay. So we go here, say, uh, create design. So now we in our custom design. We bring this over because we downloaded this from Amazon. We zoom in, make sure everything is on the dotted lines as it should be for a five by eight book. Now, this is where the fun begins. So because Canva allow you to change the transparency, you can actually change the transparency so it's light enough so we can see it, but we can still make edits. Now that we had our, we had our green garden one here. We can take this, copy it, 
go back to the one that we were doing here. Paste it on up in there. Oh, you do not want that. Okay. Now what? Do layers. Uh, it's not a background. There we go. Detaching background. Okay. A lot of stuff. See, this is the thing that took me the longest. The reason why I wanted to start this show off is about the book cover. It's because it's the longest one to do. Um, and move that. Turn white. That. <clears throat> and it's okay to bleed it over mostly because we want it kind of like there all right so then we can just take our text money garden so i copied that we're going to bring it over here. Get that over there. Now see, I don't feel like doing it again. So what I'll do is copy and paste. By Anthony Weaver, because, yeah. Hey, why not? Now move this up. There we go. I know I'm talking about like two different things, but whatever. So you got all this fun stuff. Then you can go to Amazon KDP. And then we go to. Ah, they want me to log in. All right. So there's a couple of things that you got to do. You got to log into your Amazon account, create an account um, and everything like that. It's going to take some time to do, but for the most part, for the most part, you have to go ahead on and do everything in one spot. The reason why I am doing it that way is mostly because you have to look at to how can we actually make this happen. And once you get it done, I know I just talked about a little bit of it. But what I want you to do is like, hey, once you create your account, create your Canva account, show you that you can actually write the story. Once you write the story, you go ahead on and start putting everything inside Canva. Make it look nice and pretty. It's obviously going to take me more than just an hour to walk you through this process. Um, you log into you, your KDP, your Amazon account, send it up as a PDF, send up your image, hit publish. And it will take about a week. And then once you're done, you just put a description. You're done. That's all you're going to need. Um, so I got the the biggest stuff out the way, which is how can you write this story using chat GPT, using AI? The second one is actually creating images. I use Canva just to kind of create the image. You can use mid journey to create your image. You can use AI. Oh, you can use Adobe Express to create your images. Uh, and then once you're done using Adobe Express to create the image, so on Canva, everything can come from Canva. You can export as a PDF. You can also export as a uh, PNG because you want to make sure that the best quality for your image. Once you do all that, just send it on over to KDP. It would actually run the proper arrangements and you're good to go. So. If you got anything out of this particular episode, please go ahead on and like, subscribe. Let everybody know where you found out how you were able to publish your ebook. And you can let them know that you listened to the About That Wallet podcast. All right, everybody. Y'all be safe. I'm out. Peace. If I could find my outro.